what, what line would you like to look for? Would you like to look for like eight volts maybe? Sure, yeah. It's just a great class and it's great to have a really good teacher teaching a really hard class. I can't imagine having anyone else teach it. I have not met a single person that does not like Mr. Mormon. I can say that with confidence. I think what mo motivates me most is when students really get excited about physics ideas, uh, when things click, when they see things that they've never seen before, and um, they get kind of those aha moments of surprise. Oh, oh okay. So it doesn't work. <laughs> just, That's interesting. Just, the best thing about Mr. Marmon is just the interactive nature of his classes. So he's always running around grabbing things out of cabinets and showing us different, like, different um, physics principles. Started in graduate school uh, to, to study um, mechanical engineering, um, but soon after I got there I, I decided to make the jump over to teaching, something that I had kind of done on the side as an undergraduate, uh, TAing some classes, and um, I really kind of fell in love with teaching teenagers, and um, I've been doing it ever since. And we'll have negative five Q on the inside surface here, and Ian on the outside surface? Negative seven. Negative seven Q. What I hope is that they enjoy physics, that they uh, think of physics and science as something that's fun, that they might want to read about more in the future. There's no stupid questions, and even when we say, like, oh, this is a stupid question, he's like, no, like, there's no stupid questions. And that's very comforting if I feel like maybe I'm a little behind on a topic. I think the, the learning curve in teachers um, is not so much knowing your subject matter, but it's knowing how kids learn. Uh, students learn in all kinds of diverse ways. Let's do the last one here. One thing that we're doing this year is we're trying to revamp the ninth grade physics course. Um, always, ninth grade physics is a challenge because um, ninth graders don't have the math level yet that traditional high school physics requires. Um, so we're sort of revamping the curriculum in a way to find the right level for, for ninth grade students. He honestly made the greatest impression on me because I, in my freshman year, I, um, I was coming in here, I was obviously scared because it was my first year in high school and he made it like, like it was home to me already from like I think it was third period I was already felt like I was so excited for the year excited to learn physics I think the summit community should know that teachers are, are thinking about their students all the time um, we're answering emails uh, at night um, on the weekend um, and we're thinking about what we'll be teaching the next day um, that is literally the first thing I think about in the morning is what am I going to be doing today in the classroom. Most of physics is just like on the board, equations and stuff like that, but really it makes it more personal when he actually brings out different uh, different like things you can look at and actually like see, just see physics in front of your eyes and it's just amazing. Some things you wouldn't expect to happen are just happening and that's my favorite thing about him and of course Mr. Mormon's an amazing teacher, a great guy to be around. It feels great to be recognized um, for my teaching but uh, the thing that makes teaching easy for me is great students um, who are willing to learn every day and when you have those kinds of students in front of you um, it's, it's a, a pleasant job that I look forward to.